Meet Claude, made by Anthropic, it's better than ChatGPT, which is why I'm going to try it today. For this video, I'm going to use Claude for three things. First, I'll use it to analyze a design that I found, then I'll see if I can use it to replicate the code to make this design, and finally, I'll publish that code on a website I've made. You might be thinking, what makes Claude so special? Well, this week, it learned to read your PDFs, not just text, but images too. And last week, it learned how to control your whole computer. It can connect to your GitHub, write and run code, and analyze your code, letting you also modify it with artifacts. Firstly, I'll head to Google and search for Claude 3.5. You'll come across lots of videos. Just keep scrolling until you get to this link. It'll take you to the main website where you can log in with Google or your own email. Okay, let's slow it down. I want to replicate the TikTok button. I took a picture of it earlier, which I'm going to upload here to the image section. And rather than code it myself, I'm going to ask Claude 3.5 to do it. If you've used ChatGPT before, it's very similar. Even ChatGPT's Canvas feature is now available in Claude, which I'm going to use out in just a second. I've got the code here for the button, but I don't know if it actually looks the same as my image. So I'm going to ask it to create a live preview of the code that is just generated. And there we go. Here's my button. And it even has a hover effect with a bit of a transition and a scale. All right, now to see if I can put this onto my own website. I'm going to select to copy the code content and throw it onto the site I'm currently working on. I'm using Wix Studio. And while it's a no code platform, I actually can still throw in bits of code. And this is when I need something more custom designed. I'm going to select to throw in the iframe code snippet and I'm going to paste in the code that I just copied from Claude, though I will remove the body, head and HTML tags. I think this basic example can be called a success, so I think it's time to move on to something a little bit more complex. This next example is a bit more serious because I want Claude to manage my whole project, so I'm going to need to upgrade it in order to unlock that feature. The goal is for it to manage my whole code repo, but for the time being, it'll also work faster, give me access to a better model and unlock those really cool early beta features. Here I am on the dashboard. On the left menu here, I now have projects and I'm going to select to create a new project. For this one, I'll start off with a mid-journey guide, its use and features. You see, I've put together this mid-journey document and most AIs aren't able to identify anything but the text. However, Claude's new 3.5 model is apparently able to read images. So I'm gonna give it a shot. There is only one problem, the file it's too big. Apparently the maximum size for a PDF is 30 megs. I found a website online that compresses PDFs and gave it another shot. Success. Well, not quite. Let me see if Claude actually knows what's in this document. It looks like it does, and it's done a pretty good summary of it. Hopefully with all this learning material, it can help me write a prompt to create a logo on Midjourney. It's given me a lot of advice and a prompt that I can test out. Let me copy this and see how it works. I'm pasting it here into my Midjourney account, and now I have a few good examples for a minimalistic tech logo. What about large projects with lots of files, like maybe a Next.js app? Well, that's what I wanted to take a look at next. See, I'm designing this website called Illustrated Primer. On Claude, I've uploaded the entire Next.js project, including all the files. I would have rather connected up GitHub, but that's only available to enterprise users. This task will be a bit more complex. I'm going to ask Claude to replicate the entire homepage, attaching the picture here and making sure it's built using Next.js, Tailwind CSS and React.js. I also understand I haven't attached all the artwork, but still, Claude was able to replicate most of the design, the layout, as well as how it should work with placeholders for most items. What surprised me was that it even tried to replicate one of the SVG calligraphy styles, which was this one just over here. Overall, I think it succeeded at completing the task. And this definitely probably saved me at least four to six hours of work that I would otherwise be coding myself manually. Now, I know that not everyone likes to operate their AIs directly in a chat window, but prefers to use something like VS Code. So I'm going to see if I can find a nice VS Code extension for Claude to be able to use straight inside of my code editor. There is quite a few different ones, but I decided to go with the top rated one that VS Code recommends, which is this one here called C-Line. In order to get it up and running, I need to add an API key. So I headed to the Anthropic website, headed to APIs and created a new developer account so I can start building with the developer tools. I selected get API key, generated a test one, 
and added it into the VS Code prompt. Unfortunately, I ran into a small error. I need to increase my balance in order to use this, so I added my credit card details, and suddenly now everything works. I can query this project, and I'm thinking I'm gonna get Claude to do something that's a bit complex, but also not too difficult. First, I wanted to run up this Next.js project, and then add a hamburger menu with a few options to it. It immediately open up my own console and run npm run dev, which actually does start Next.js. It also opened up a web browser to confirm that the application was running. And when I asked it to create the special header with a dropdown, it was like I was shadowing a professional coder in the background while they modified files, created new ones, and combined them all together to produce this. The default Next.js landing page with a hamburger menu that drops down and has animation as well. I'm very impressed. Well done, Claude. 